hey what's up guys so in this video i want to talk about how you can use whatsapp on your samsung galaxy watch 4 now before i go ahead and start this video i want to be very clear here that there is no specific whatsapp app that you can download on your samsung galaxy watch 4 and use it that way the functionality is pretty much dependent on the notifications or whatsapp notifications that you receive from your phone on your galaxy watch 4 and from there we can use whatsapp on this watch and that's what i will be talking about in this video and there are some other limitations here as well so for instance if you haven't received a whatsapp message from any specific contact and you haven't received its notification on your watch there is no way that you can initiate a whatsapp message to that contact so you cannot start a conversation another important thing to note here is that you cannot see all of your chat or all of your messages from a specific contact on your watch as well so if you receive a message you will be able to see last few messages from that contact on your watch but not all of it and then lastly the call functionality is also pretty limited which i'll talk about at the end of this video so let's get started and see what you can actually do with whatsapp on your galaxy watch 4 so you will not find any whatsapp app in the app drawer or in the play store all you get is whatsapp notifications from your contacts and your friends and your chats and here you can see that once you receive a message you will then see down here a tag showing you how many contacts that you've got the messages from so in total i've got three notifications from three different contacts pending here and the main one the latest one that came shows right here at the top so if i tap on it it will take me further and I can see that I've got three contacts that have sent me these messages. So that's the first thing. You can see all the notifications from the different chats that you have received on your phone on your watch separately. And then you can go in them separately. And here you can see last few messages. So here as an example, I'm showing you last four messages, but you can see previous 10 or 15 messages here, uh, recent messages on the watch. Now here there are a few ways that you can reply to these messages first of all we have some quick replies down here and you can select any one of them and send them right away but if you want to send a custom message then there are a few ways that you can do it so first of all we have the voice message so you can transcribe and it will send the message then another way is that you can just uh, write it out like this and it will show up at the top and then you can send that message then you can also send emojis from here so you can select emojis from here and then finally you have your keyboard now the difference between previous galaxy watches and this galaxy watch is that in here we get qwerty keyboard while on galaxy watch 3 and galaxy watch active 2 we would get the t9 style keyboard so here you can swipe type or you can you know tap on these letters and send a message now what happens once you have replied to these messages so if i reply to this message this message will be cleared from the notifications on my watch. Now I have got only two chats left here. But once I get a reply from that contact again, I will then be able to see the last few messages once again. Moving on, another very important thing to notice here is that if someone sends you an image or a photo in your WhatsApp, you will be able to view that image on your watch. So here you can see that I can view this image in its entirety on my watch 4. So that's very cool and very good functionality actually. But at the same time, if someone sends you a voice message, I will not be able to listen to it. I will have to use my phone for that. But here it will tell you what is the duration of the message and that I have received a voice message. So that's a pretty decent functionality, I would say. And same goes for GIFs. If someone sends you a GIF or a sticker, the watch will let you know that you have received a GIF or a sticker but will not show you on the watch. And now finally I want to talk about call functionality when it comes to Galaxy Watch 4 and WhatsApp. So it's pretty limited and I'm actually pretty sad because uh, you cannot attend any calls on your Galaxy Watch 4. So if you're getting a call on WhatsApp, the watch will show you that you're getting a call but the only thing that you can do on the watch is to cancel the call you cannot attend it on the watch you cannot talk on the watch you can simply cancel it but to listen to the call itself you will have to pull out your phone hopefully in the future and i am just daydreaming here we might get a whatsapp app on the watch as well as the ability to attend calls on the watch as well so that's about it from this video guys that is everything that you can do with whatsapp on your galaxy watch 4 i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you have learned something new and if you have let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.